and that's called boar armour. So the males actually have armour down their flanks so that... <laughs> Hello, birdie. Welcome to Bajan Lifestyles where we give you the best of Barbados and all of its hidden treasures. Now we're here at Paradise Nature Park and we're really excited because this one is great for the whole family. So if you've got little tots, you've got teens, you've got big kids like me who love to touch furry stuff, this video is for you. Stay tuned. Good morning and welcome to the Paradise Nature Park. Thank you for joining us here today. Throughout the course of the day, we have different activities, talks and feeds. I find it's easier to take a picture with your phone and that way you have it at your fingertips. When we're settled up here, you're gonna start your tour on the left-hand side of the building where you're going to notice our park rules sign. Please take a moment to read through our park rules. However, basic rules of every park, you don't wanna be sticking your fingers in at certain animals because they could bite or peck at you. Some of our fences on the farm side are electrified, so please take heed of the warning signs. I don't want you to be in for the shock of your life. Once you're finished with the park rules, you're gonna follow the arrows that will guide you all the way around the park. Please have fun and enjoy. So if you hold him like this, because otherwise he'll run away. That's it, he got him. It's fun. Hmm? <laughs> hold on, Michaela, because you know how to hold them. They're actually very young. They're good pets. Yeah, what are what are the colors again? Ours. Our tortoise. Was there new? Yes, our tortoise. Sonic is and Toby. We have two called Sonic and Toby at home. Nice. I like Sonic. That's a good name. This is Toby. He <laughs> walks very fast. Oh, sorry. Don't don't come too close to me. This is Sonic. He is Sonic because he walks fast and he likes to run away from people and things. As you can see. Right hand, you're trying to swim. Yeah, it's not Okay. 
fish and it produces a bean that you that's super expensive in the supermarket for the beans, but that's from the vanilla roll kit. That's its sea pod. Up the top, and if you soak it in water for a couple of days, it will send out some roots. You can plant it in kind of a sweet draining soil mix, and you'll get you get fruit. flowers when the rain starts and they have these big beautiful flowers but they're only open for one night and some varieties are self-pollinating which means that it kind of fertilizes itself and others you have to literally go around each flower and kind of fertilize it but if you do that you get more fruit and bigger fruit um, these actually like a lot of the dragon fruit are kind of um, not that sweet these are really sweet and like a deep purple inside really pretty I've heard things about you. I've heard about you. Come. You know that you want baby. Oh, do you want to hear, boy? <laughs> the emus, which are, are kind of one of the biggest flightless birds related to ostriches, but a little bit smaller. So these can actually, they kind of can't fly, they lost their wings um, through evolution, but they can run super fast, maybe 30 miles an hour. Oh, wow. And they're super inquisitive. They'll kind of they'll kind of pick something, so they'll see your necklace and they'll be like shiny and kind of just want to get to it. In fact, the the Aborigines will even use that um, to hunt them. They'll kind of put something in a tree that's kind of twinkly, and the yeah the humans are attracted to it. But they're pretty chilled out. They're kind of um, interested in the fence right now. <laughs> Where, 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 where is it? Oh, wow! He's actually really beautiful, like, he's really, really fat, too, too. Hello. He's not bigger than anyone I expect, And the best thing about him is the Crawley Mates. You'll have heard it on, like, different kind of young TV shows, because they... Like, sounds yeah. pretty young lady. But he normally makes his call in the evening when it starts to get a bit cooler. But it's a territorial call, so sometimes you can kind of play him it off of YouTube and he'll get really annoyed because he thinks another male's in the area. So it kind of it kind of puts him off. This little guy's called Chickadee. He's, he's one that we raised from an egg, so I, I kind of know him good. He kind of likes to be held. He actually doesn't like other birds. He only he likes people best. <laughs> um, he, he if he came, if we brought him out, he might fly up in a tree, and he, they get kind of disoriented easy, so they could get lost. So that's why we don't bring him outside. Uh, if if one were to fly away, they they try really hard to get back in the cage because they like to be with their buddies, and obviously they enjoy the food. Hello. You can, you can say hello, but he says it's really quiet. If you come close, you might say it. This is a salmon tree or a rain tree. Really good shade tree. And it also produces these brown pods that have this kind of sweet pulp inside. Hardly any, but this area here is kind of sweet and pulpy. The goats absolutely adore it because it's so sweet and tasty. But some people in different parts of the world will even eat this. My community donkeys are originally from Sicily and Sardinia, uh, where they used to be used to for a number of different jobs, such as um, transporting goods and also helping to grind stones and other jobs. Um, but then they started being imported to the U.S. and now you'll find them more in the United States than you are where they originally come from. So what makes a micro miniature donkey is the withers, which is the tallest part on his back, is no taller than 30 inches. 
Um, if it is 36 inches, I believe, it's, my, it's miniature donkey, and then anything above that is just a donkey. Now, micro miniature donkeys are very intelligent, they're highly sociable, and they're emotionally intelligent animals as well. If you ever have a micro miniature donkey, it's best not to have it by itself. It needs to be with another donkey or another animal, or it will get depressed and moved. They are able to work together as a herd, and as I said, they're very sociable. Now it's now time to wean them, so um, they're kind of... Is that the mum there? Or these no, are... these are the two babies. Oh. You kind of like a lot of love. They'll kind of do anything for a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? Hey. Hey. That's the sweetest thing ever. Pigs, which are a breed of miniature pig from New Zealand. They're actually, the breed was created by the Maori people in New Zealand, and Kuni Kuni means short and round in Maori. Um, and you can see, they're kind of thinking that I got food. <laughs> is how docile and friendly they are. So even animals that haven't been handled much tend to be really affectionate and friendly. And that's just due to the breeding in you know, the original animals in, um, in New Zealand. You can see the tusks here. And sometimes in captivity, they have to be trimmed back. In, uh, in a wild boar or a similar situation, they would keep growing long and they use those to fight one another and to, to get access to females. And actually, Unusually with this breed, you can't see it, but if you were to feel it, you'll actually feel a big bony plate, or well, it's actually cartilaginous plate that's in here. You can kind of see it moving. And that's called boar armor. So the males actually have armor down their flank, so that when they fight with one another, the tusks can't pierce the organs. So it's kind of like armor to protect them. That's so cool. He's pretty cool. He's, he's, yeah. Like, shelter yeah, they all, they all love a good scratch. Aww. They're kind of all affectionate. They're, they're actually the number one pet pig. Really? Yeah. what sex it is, um, the most accurate way is through probing, but another way you can tell is by the shape, as they grow the shape of their tail. I think the female zones are a little bit more pointier, um, and so you're able to tell the sex from that. We are now going to get into the really fun part, which is touching or holding. But I have some rules, and I really want the little ones to listen to the rules. The first is, we stay away from the face, it might be very tempting to go high snake in front of his face, but that will scare him. We don't want that. Also, we stay away from the tail. We don't pull it. We don't rub down that side. That's so. Can I let go of this hand? If while you're holding him, he starts to wriggle around, it's a really nice feeling. Okay. <laughs> you okay from this day? I do not like this. Yeah. I... <laughs> it's a Yeah, it's a good one. I'm going to sit in front of this here. It wasn't really moving around like this. Tara, what did you think of the Paradise Nature Park? It was fun. It was fun. What was your favorite part? The rabbit. 
The rabbit? What do you like about the rabbit? It was real fluffy. Oh, nice. Awesome. Guys, you're looking at. The peacock's opened up. Yeah. I kind of got it. Aww. Do it again. What's your favorite part? The snakes. Why you like this? One second. Why you like the snakes the most? Because they got some water. Got a whole lot of water. Awesome. Did you come back? Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite part of the Paradise Beach Park? Um, the samosas. <laughs> Seriously? And um, the what is it called now? Snake. Nice I like it. I like how it is. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was really, really fun being here at Paradise Nature Park. We came here around, I think we came here around 11, 30, 12, and it's like three hours of the day, right? And we're still here. There is not just the animals to see. You can pet them, you can learn all about them. They've got their relish um, restaurant here as well, but then there's also just nice green spaces you can sit down and relax as well. So I would highly recommend this. Especially seeing that we've got, you know, bank holidays and stuff. Come on down to Paradise Nature Park. One second. Please subscribe to me just like so. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of no, we did not. <laughs>